Okay, so I was asked a question on perfectionism. I guess uh, the course would call it self-attack thoughts. <clears throat> you know, uh, the ego attacks, uh, attacks relentlessly if one isn't perfect. Um, and especially if you're like doing stuff which is spiritual, you know, which can invite a lot of, you know, uh, if you're supposed to be like a spiritual expert, uh, put yourself up as a spiritual expert and the ego can be quite ruthless uh, yeah. if you're... If I sort of say, like, I've transcended sugar addiction, and then someone sees with the donut after, <laughs> afterwards, it's like, you know, then you think, well, yeah, I have transcended it. You know, it's not what you think. You see, the ego goes, goes a bit nutty, you see. They're going to think that I haven't transcended <coughs> donuts or whatever. Or it's going to get out, you see, into the public. And that, that Sabira scene eating a bag of donuts somewhere. So it can be, or whatever it is, you do. There's a few things. One is, it's, it's natural. Um, for those thoughts to to arise, um, uh, and if it does arise, you know, going to the observer, going to the observer is a way to to release that, to detach from the the thinking, and um, also if it brings up a lot of feelings, just feeling those feelings out. Um, usually, when you're doing um, uh, when, when, like when, for myself, in, in these talks, when I give these talks, uh, you know, if someone says to me, are you enlightened? I would say I'm not enlightened. Uh, and, uh, uh, and so, but, um, which would, uh, anyway, I, not, I can't be enlightened anyway, so the I can't be enlightened, little I can't be enlightened, mm. so it's impossible. <laughs> so that's quite, quite funny. But, um, the thing that that uh, that I found, like when doing these groups, uh, is to keep letting go of outcomes and expectations from the world. You see, well, as long as my ego's in here, it wants payoff. It wants payoff from people liking you, liking me, people giving uh, compliments, uh, people thinking I'm good. All of this stuff. So you have to you have to uh, as you, you have to uh, keep transcending that. Um, the other thing that uh, I really like with Hawkins uh, that really, really helped me was that there, ha there has to be like a, div a strong devotion to just being in the present moment. And that whatever happened in the last second, your whole consciousness must be like a samurai, basically like a samurai. It's like what happened in the last second, you just cut off from that. Yeah. And that has to be like a, a super strong attitude not to hold on to the past second and to go fresh into the new, new second so so at the end of the interview it's like the interview is over and you're in the next second and you want to be your whole thing must be in it's like your whole uh, consciousness must be in releasing that because that was what happened otherwise it's a valuable it's something you want to hold on to and i always remembered it with hawkins which really helped me was that you know, and he, had tra he was an enlightened teacher, so as soon as he, he was eating a sandwich and, uh, and then the phone rang and he'd pick up the phone and speak and because he's in the next moment, it's like the, the previous moment is totally forgotten so he'll, he'll leave the sandwich there and carry on with the rest of his day and he'll still be there, you see, like the half-eaten sandwich is there because it's like gone. Memory of the last moment is not even kept because you're you're in the next moment, you're enjoying the next moment, and you've forgotten what was happening in the last second, it's gone. You see, so that has to be that level of ferocious dedication not to, not to pick it up, not to pick up those thoughts over and over again. And also for me, like if I was doing a lot of radio interviews, then, you know, that would be, everything that comes up within my ego, it's an opportunity for transcendence, mm -hmm. as the different things that are arising. So I'm gonna be on like, 10, 10 radio shows in the next year. So what came up? And then I have to focus on transcending everything that comes up. Well, I was worried what the readers think of me. I was worried what the hosts thought of me. I was worried that I didn't, mm. I didn't sound spiritual. Um, mm. And uh, I'm worried what's going to happen to my reputation. I'm worried that people are going to think I'm a fraud or I'm a phony or that, um, you know, so, you know, or I'm talking about peace and I'm angry, you know, like what, what are people going to be thinking if I'm teaching peace and I'm getting angry at the presenter, you know. <laughs> you know, so it's like, it's like, so all these things come up, you know. And usually that stuff does come up because when you try and, yeah. if you like commit to the universe, you're going to, be, you're going to love everyone, 
then you know you'll find the most unlovable people will start coming across in your thing. If you if you say I'm a teacher of peace then you'll get, you'll, get, you'll get the most difficult situations arising where you'll be finding it difficult to keep your peace. That's just how the universe works. So, um, in a way, uh, whatever you're teaching, you know, the universe will push your buttons. But it's great, because you just have to transcend that. And you have to, like, for me, it's like you let go of wanting feedback from the universe. You know, wanting to get payoff from the universe, transcending your even transcending your own ego's compliments of itself. You see, oh, I really I performed well today. You know, I think I did a good job. So you want to let that go. So if you go to the observer of that, you know, you're you don't, you're not going to energize your thinking on the thing. Or if you just practice being in the now and letting the every last second go and not entering into it. Um, until you just become into the, you go into the observer or you're just in the now. For me, when you're in the now, it's like there's a, it becomes self-sustaining after a while, after you've let go of the habitual attachments to thoughts or to whatever. And then the, the, the observing becomes effortless. Um, and uh, really it's like a starvation, a starvation. But it's natural, when, you're, when you get a situation that brings stuff up, for feelings to arise and thoughts to arise and just to release those through whatever if there's significant feelings feel them out go to the observer or just let it go or or else you can do the course of miracles like what has it brought up like I hand I, I place into the hands of God what other people think of me you know I place into the hands of God whether other people like me or not I place into the hands of God whether people think I'm spiritual or not I place into the hands of God what, you know, all of this stuff. Um, and um, so you transcend. And then what you find is, like when I first started doing this group, I had a lot of stuff coming up. I had stuff coming up like, what if nobody comes here? And this thought, like, what if, what if I'm running a group and no one shows up? I mean, it's like, like how embarrassing is that? I'm running A Course in Miracles. Like, and this is the thing from... Um, I had of like being able to tell other people I'm a success, you know, uh, mm -hmm. like, uh, and then you know, and then it was like, uh, and then, and then actually, as you as you did that, it became like it didn't mean anything. Eventually, kind of like it's like it's like it's great if no one comes, that's also great. And if people come, that's great. And then you, you let that go, so you become relaxed, whether you talk fast. So. You just let go of everything it can mean to you. And then you're talking to someone and you're, you're really relaxed because you're not wanting any payoff or any outcomes or any expectations there. So you, you go. As soon as there... But when you go into these situations, um, the, unconscious, the unconscious belief systems come up. Especially, it's magnified, especially if you're speaking to a group of people or in a radio show, it becomes even more magnified mm -hmm. in that way. 